Yeah, hi everyone. Good morning. Am I audible? Online, please respond. Am I audible? Yeah, Jansi. Yes. Okay, so we will start our session. Is it my screen visible? Please respond. Yeah, visible. Yes. But your screen is showing. Okay, so we will start our session. So yeah, first of all, I'll introduce myself. So coming to myself, my name is Jansi. So till now, I just have completed eight post training batches. Okay, so this is your ninth batch, and in this session, we will going to discuss about what is the main importance of this post training program. Okay, and who are eligible? Okay, who are eligible for this job ready program? Okay. and what is its purpose okay first of all why we have started this program and that purpose and all we will discuss what is the purpose and what you will get what you will get from this training okay likewise there are so many different questions we have to discuss that means uh, the overall process of this post training program we will discuss in this session and at the end of session i'll ask some queries like if you have any queries you can ask here i'll try to answer for your questions okay next is it okay everyone am i only uh, like am i audible if you respond then we will proceed yes yes sir okay so first yes. of all who are eligible for this post training program means the persons who already completed their pega training and they are up to not at confident to crack any interview means they got some knowledge from their pega training but they are unable to crack the interview why the reason anybody of you please respond and how this conversation should be means one to one okay and everyone you should have to respond then only i can able to explain clearly okay please respond so john see uh, basically we are not able to crack any interviews because uh, the they ask scenario i basically given like two three interviews uh, so far and okay. they do not do not ask any like basic questions they so just that start means giving the ask, scenarios yeah so if they ask any scenario yeah like some easy scenarios you can able to answer but if that is like some difficult scenarios if they are asking you are unable to answer right what is the meaning of scenario that means a requirement right they are asking a requirement one minute they are asking some requirement so they are testing your skill right in front of them they are testing your skill by giving a scenario so first we have to think in the way how to answer for the answer for the question okay but so many of you are doing instead of thinking in a practical way you are trying to answer for the question in a theoretical way okay so what is the difference between that is suppose i will ask you a scenario okay let's say for example imagine in my database i have 1000 records okay so my requirement i have to get these 1000 records on to my ui okay that means on to my user interface i want to get these 1000 records okay so any one of you respond how we will implement this requirement by I using the 1000 records Definition. Oh, right. We can use report definition or activity. Is a browser method. I have. You can source that report definition into section. And show it on UI, right? So or generally, list. first, what is the one like you have to say the step by step explanation for these type of requirements? Okay. So generally, what we will say, uh, we will get these records by using the Fetching uh, like um, there are some rules to fetch the data from database. 
first of all you have to answer from a question what are the rules are used to fetch the data from database okay first you have to uh, remember there are some things we will perform like we will save the data save the data into database right next we will fetch we will fetch the data from the database fetch the data from database next what we will do there are some requirements right mainly whatever the fetch data if you want if you want to copy okay if you want to copy the data from one place to right from one place to another place okay so so just now i am trying to explain the procedure of this post training program i'm just taking one example okay that is like directly i am going with one scenario because so many of you are facing a problem to solve the scenario questions right so anybody you may have like uh, some communication skill and you may have some technical skill also but whenever you are attending the interview you are lagging at the thinking of scenarios right and there is another problem also somebody have very good knowledge at technical but they are lagging at communication skill that is also not work out okay when the interview will be successfully working out means when you have communication skills as well as when you have technical skills and if you have a practical thinking okay that means in the practical thinking if you have then only you can answer for any type of questions okay and first of all we have to understand the importance of different rules okay in our pega application we have so many different rules right to implement different type of business like business requirements so imagine there are three type of business requirements i have okay one is when i want to save the data into my database okay that is one requirement another one i have some data in my database i want to get that data onto my ui this is second requirement third requirement i got the data onto my clipboard from the clipboard i want to get this data into another screen okay that may be from first screen to second screen or first screen to third screen anywhere okay if i want to copy the data then that is one another type of requirement okay first of all what we have to maintain means we have to know the purpose or the importance of each rule in pega okay so there are some rules are available like business rules i'm talking about report definition data page activity data transform rule and decision rules what are the main major five important rules okay five major important business rules okay if you have a good knowledge on these five rules you can answer for any type of scenario question and you can able to work on any type of practical requirement why i am saying means that is true okay so what are the different business or uh, uh, like a rules like reports like report definition rule next activity what is the next one data, data transfer rule next one data page decision rule and data page so even though if you are trying to work with the advanced concepts like integrations agents file listeners email listeners anything what is the source of that rule activity only right so the main source for any advanced concepts also activity so if you have good knowledge on activity then you can able to work on the practical implementation with your advanced concepts right so that's what i'm saying these are the five major rules to work with your pega application okay so 
here i have a requirement right that means i want to save the data into my database so how can i implement this one if i want to save let's say for example you have a requirement you have to collect the customer information okay listen carefully i am trying to explain everything with one scenario okay so let's say for example i am trying to collect some information from the customer whenever customer is submitting some data you have submit button right whenever you are clicking on the submit button data is going to be saved into the database what exactly happening on that particular button online you should also have to respond what's happening when i am clicking on the submit button so actually in the back end there is a relation established between a class and table by using the rule called class table mapping rule right so those all connections are established in the back end but as manually if you have to implement this requirement how can you implement those already implemented on click of submit there is some action is performing in the back end so that it is saving the data into the database whenever you are trying to submit from the work like a work object the data is going to be stored in the work table why the reason already class table mapping rule is established right now if suppose you don't use that submit button manually you have to implement this requirement then how can you do it by using the activity you can call the activity in submit button activity. that means you are trying to collect some customer details and there you are providing two buttons okay login and uh, some like sign up button if you click on sign up it is showing some ui screen to collect the information there you are providing like save or submit you have provided one button on click of button you are calling one activity right so then activity is needed for the implementing of business logic yes or no activity is needed yes. to implement the business logic what type of business logic just now we discussed one requirement that is also one business yes. to save the data into my database next what are the steps you will write inside the inside of the activity suppose imagine whenever we work with our application there is ui as a well, business logic and in the back end database so in between this business logic and database we'll be having a interface like clipboard clipboard yes or no yes. so imagine here you are submitting some basic details by using this business logic that business logic rule here you are using activity right by using this yes. activity you are trying to save the data into database to where you are trying to save database right so then whatever the data you have submitted here that you will be see on clipboard yes or no on which page yes. py work page py py work page, work page. right so what yes. is this py work page it is acting as a primary page right so yes. whenever you submit the basic details by using this business logic activity data is going to be stored on the clipboard page right then here in this business logic you have to map the columns right of which yes. property you want to save into which column of the table okay generally you are trying to save the data into work table right generally whenever you are clicking on the submit instead of saving into my work table i want to save the data into my data class table okay suppose i just have created lic data customer into that table i want to save this entire data of the customer then how can i write the business logic inside of the activity? we can create we can create one yeah. template page uh with Update. reference to a okay. lic data class then we can copy this uh, primary page data page into the temp page then we can insert the data save yeah first you have to define the new page okay page. that yeah. is referred that is all you have to refer with one temp page okay yeah. this temp page going to be referred the with the data class lic data class yeah 
okay next what is the next step we have to do already we are Property having shopping. the data on the clipboard right then directly you can use property, property set, set. set. i am using yes. property set here see online please uh, like you can respond but sometimes we have to give some time to other people right so why i am using the immediate next step to this page new i am using property set so why the reason why the reason means whenever i am submitting this p basic details the data is already available on my py work page that means on the my clipboard page i have data then i can assign that value to temp page right so yeah. what are the uh, parameters for property set property name and like property, property value. value property value so what is the property name i have to set temp page dot temp page dot first name like temp page dot first name is equals to how i have to assign the value py work page dot keyboard value first name right so likewise whatever the number of properties you have those you have to refer and you have to copy that means assigning your assigning your clipboard value to one column value of a data class right okay you successfully did it like you have assigned some values to your data class property is it completed this requirement then uh, i have one doubt actually here no obj yes. say we have to do yes the next uh, next follow up method we have to use obj, OBJ save OBJ. method then is it mandatory to give the step page or not for this obj save method it's mandatory yes yes no, it's not mandatory mandatory, mandatory. mandatory to give the obj save if you know if you do not define the temp page that means if you do not the class then into which table it, it will save the data so that's what you have to define the class that class is nothing but you are referring with the page right yes. okay whenever you are using this activity in your flow there is no need of using the commit method follow up commit method but if you are stand alone executing this activity we have to use commit, commit. method yes or no yes so yes. <clears throat> this is what the scenario of what manually collecting the data from user and save this data into your database yes or no so this is one requirement so now for no, this requirement here i have one doubt actually so yes, instead yes. of using the property set method so yes. can't we copy the data from a primary page to temp page directly you can use you can use page copy method also but if you no. have a different different column sometimes if you have okay. same properties then you can use the page copy method sometimes okay. columns and property names are not matching in such case if okay. you have to establish the mapping manually in such case you can go with the property set method okay so okay. why i just okay. explained this entire business logic here means you have to know the importance of activity rule as well as how to think in a business implementation way okay so that's what i just explained to you this much of uh, business implementation next <clears throat> this is what one requirement to save the data into database next requirement you can take if you want to fetch the data from database okay now i'll ask another scenario for this type of requirements okay suppose you have a 1500 records in your database suppose 1500 records in your database you have to get these records and you have to modify one of the property value for enter this 1500 records and save this data in your database back then how can you do it <clears throat> step by step same same explain here yeah i can create we one can uh, page. Browse new, new page new page so here also we can go with activity create one new otherwise yeah. so we can go with reports also that is another purpose we will discuss about that so this is also one business requirement they just assigned with you and online please uh, i'm getting some noise okay next here you have activity okay you have to write one activity 
what is my requirement there are 1500 records in my database so first step what you have to do you create first, a temp page you Pay have me. to get those records onto your clipboard yes or no so to get the records from the database what is the follow up method you have to use obj obj browse browse method right browse. so next what are the parameters of obj browse method did you browse ever concentrated on the parameters of any obj method? class and parameter page uh, Oh, page name so we have to give and uh, oh, yeah one obj minute. class page name okay first parameter is page name that means whenever you are trying to get the data from database and if you are trying to store this data on to clipboard you have to define one page right whatever the page you are defining here on this page this entire 1500 records will be stored okay so that's what you have to define the page name suppose you have get cases okay get cases that means you want to give the case details get cases next from where from which class you have to get the data so that's what you have to define the class name right table class next, what are the next parameters you have get row key right what is the importance of this get row key if suppose here if you define a work class it will allow you to uh, check this checkbox get row key means this work table may have pj dynasty columns right next <clears throat> here you have select clause in right select clause in where clause. so why we use this select clause and where clause imagine here i have 1500 records okay but as per my requirement i want to perform the filter among this 1500 records okay for every record there is a status associated with right like new open pending resolved resolved cancelled resolved complete like a resolved cancelled resolved completed resolved withdrawn likewise you may have n number of statuses in your database with these 1500 records as per my business requirement i want to get the records which are having the status of pending then how can i implement here i have to pass the, the select can be filtered okay like dot by state work okay this is one property yes or no otp property is equals to what is that status i want to get pending okay along with this what i want to get further information i want to get the key column okay what is the class key for work table py id okay that i want to get all the py ids whatever the status having pending those all records i want to get next i want to get first name i want to get last name like so on so n number of details i may have right <clears throat> whenever i execute the first step okay in this obj browse method on the clipboard on the clipboard there is a page will be formed right on the clipboard what is the page what is the get page class. get get, get cases page results yes or no get cases get cases get cases dot on the clipboard i will get get cases dot px results property so next what i have to do i got some re like results on to my clipboard page next what is the next step i have to do as per my business requirement you have to loop i have to i have to update this, i have to update any of the property value okay so if you want to update the value of a property you have to open one by one record or at a time you can modify all the records one by one by you one you have to respond one by one okay you should have to update one by one record then how you can achieve loop you have to include on which yes. this list, okay on this list you have to include on each page okay one record okay get cases dot px results this is the page that, that means this is the list on this list i have to perform the 
loop right these all you have to define in a pelson class system next this is the second step okay imagine loop is the second step this browse is first step browse is first step next what is the next you have to inside of this loop you have to define a new page new okay that means to open one by one record next what is the next point you have to do obj obj open why obj open. open why not open by hand uh, open if you have the pz ins key uh, oh, so get to get to whatever you fetch if you have a key column then you can go with the obj open if you have a pz ins key then you can go with obj open by hand okay next what is the structure you have to provide with this obj open by hand Instance. Here it will ask for the instance instance handle. handle. Okay. Instance. Then what is the structure you have to provide means of current 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 right of current yes. dot dot pzd ins key. So if you provide like this, it will open one by one record. Next, what is the next point you have to do? Property set. Property set requirement. Okay. So you fetch all the records. You are opened one record onto temp page. So whatever the record opened onto the temp page, that you have to modify. So whenever you want to modify the record data, what is the method you have to use? Property set. Property set. method okay see everybody can say the definitions everybody can able to remember the definition but whatever the definitions you learn try to apply for the practical implementation okay generally what we say about property set method in the activity whenever you are try to assign values to a property you can use property set method here also the same but here you are trying to modify anyhow you are assigning right with modified data also you are assigning so that's what you have to use the next immediate method as property set method next how you have to write means temp page dot okay whatever that record opened dot so on so status Let, let's say for example py status work property you want to update okay py status work this is a property you want to update then how you have to include means this get cases dot px results of pz ins key is open right this will be available directly you can modify like any value okay suppose i want to modify that value as new previously that is pending otherwise i want to modify as result cancelled okay i want to update the status and i want to modify it okay up to here status is modified whenever you execute 2.3 the status gets modified then what is the next step you have to use obj save temp page whenever if you modify that means if you use the property set method only it will perform up to the clipboard level clipboard level but this this data you have to save into database right and one more point at this obj open by handle you have lock and release on commit right when you have to check that checkbox so whenever you have to uh, click on this lock and release on commit means for this requirement we are fetching the data and we are modifying and saving back to the database right in such situations only you have to click it means lock and release on commit normally it's not needed only just for getting the data then is it needed you are not performing any modifications right not needed whenever you are trying to modify the data then you have to check the box like lock and release on commit okay next the follow up method of property set is obj save method okay obj save method here you have to define the page name that, that means that page into which class you have to modify mention the page name next you have to commit the data right then what we have to do the next step you using commit method you are saying right 
but these are like bulk of records sometimes the yeah, right. record may be processing failed then error will occur right, right? now submit with error handling uh, or submit with error handling submit with error handling submit with error handling outside of the loop right why okay. because if you use inside of the loop inside of the for any loop. one of the record fail everything will be failed right so that's what come out of the loop and add third step there use call commit with error handling OOTB activity. Okay, this is OOTB activity. Call commit to error handling is OOTB activity. Why we have to use this activity means there are already three different steps are implemented inside of this commit with error handling activity. What are that means? Commit method, if suppose anything is failed, rollback and work unlock. These all three methods are already defined in the commit with error handling mechanism. So that's what we are calling this call commit with error handling instead of writing another activity or another steps. Okay. So is it clear everyone with this requirement? So what is the final motto of this requirement? If you want to fetch the data from the database, like from the database and modify the record, modify the data of record records and records and save it back to save it back to database right so this is another requirement next what we have <clears throat> if you want to copy the data from one place to another place okay this is another requirement let's say imagine so that requirement may be you already worked on uh, suppose this requirement everybody have idea like billing address and shipping address let's say so billing address is one page whenever you selected one checkbox that data is copied into the another page that means that is one place this is another place you are trying to copy the data from one place to another place based upon a condition right Whenever you have the condition, then only you can able to implement the business requirement, right? So that's what if you want to copy the data or if you want to modify the data from one place to another place or from one page list to another place, you, you can use one specific tool called data transform. Can't we use uh, can't we implement requirement with the activity? We can we can implement, no problem. But they are come up with the different rules for the specific record, like specific uh, business implementations. So that's what we have to use, utilize these rules. Okay. The same requirement like browsing of the records we can achieve by using report definition. Same we can achieve by using activity or browse method, right? And like same way, if you want to copy the data from one place to another place, that may be a page to page. Or, page list to page list. or if you want to update the data to a property whatever you want to do you can achieve by using data transform rule okay so here you are using data transform rule what is the business rule requirement i'm asking billing address and billing address and shipping address i'll explain with another example also Billing address and shipping address. So this is one page and shipping address is another page. When you are trying to copy the data, when <clears throat> user selected, user select billing address, billing address is same as same as shipping shipping address. What is this property? Like, what is the type of this property? Checkbox. It is a, it is a checkbox. Like, check you are box. evaluating the condition, either true or false, right? Generally, it will be false. Whenever user clicks on that, then only it will become true. So, based upon the true condition, you have to write the logic, right? So, this, this is yes. like a checkbox. 
so how the business steps you have to write inside of the data transform rule when condition when condition write. first you have to when. use when there are different actions available right when set <laughs> sort remove <True. coughs> update page append to append and map to <clears throat> likewise we have right so as <coughs> per my business requirement first listen properly they may ask you the requirement right you have to copy the data of billing address page to shipping address page when you have the condition as true okay they may ask like this then you have to get the immediate idea i have to use when condition okay because based upon that condition only you can able to copy otherwise we can't do anything right so you have to think in that practical way when that py selected checkbox is true then only copy the data of billing address page to shipping address page otherwise that is a positive scenario if it is that true you are copying if it is not true user has to fill the data right by his own then you have to provide the blank screen also right now you have to say the steps when py select equals to true right when py selected equals to true generally it will be false right false means it will be like normal user can able to fill that form of shipping address next why am getting this continuous noise i'll try to mute everyone where this option Mute, mute okay, I'm getting continuously noise from the right. So okay, when PY selected equals to true, then only I want to copy the data from one place to another place. So okay, imagine it's true. Okay, user selected. Then what is the next logic I have to do? Page. Update page. Right? Update page. Otherwise, I can use set action also. Update page. What is the use of update page? Whenever you want to update the data from one page to another page, then the follow-up method you have to use is update page. But whenever you use update page, definitely you should have to maintain the condition. Like when, otherwise when, otherwise. Likewise, you have to use. Okay. When condition is true, update the page. There, inside of the data transform, you have source page and source page and target page right source page and target page so here what is the source page and what is target page here source page is so imagine this is at right hand side in our rule target page at left hand right so what is the source page is billing address billing address okay source page is billing address target page is shipping address okay target page is shipping address okay you just included one page to another page you have to specify the properties also right which property value you want to assign to which property then what is the next step you have to use is set action okay set action in the data transfer right so directly billing address page dot door number you are assigning with shipping address dot door number likewise you you assigned if suppose this is a positive condition that means user selected it's true then it will perform like this otherwise that means you have to use otherwise there is no need of evaluating another when condition just either true or false if it is true, perform above condition. If it is false, that means otherwise. Set. What you have to set? Shipping address. Page dot door number. Okay, door number is equals to blank. That means user can able to fill anything. So that's what we implemented the business logic in this way. Okay the same scenario imagine <clears throat> another requirement 
you have a list of records okay just simply imagine amazon application amazon amazon application you have so if you open amazon application if you search for any product you can able to find n number of products right like if you search for fridge there are so many categories of fridge like double door fridge single door fridge colors everything you have some different things for each and everything right and not only a fridge there are so many products pens like a uh, pens books fridges like a uh, tv next uh, acs likewise washing machines you may have so many products right if you select any of two okay that only selected products you have to copy into the final screen called cart screen cart screen then how can you implement that okay in the first screen imagine in the first screen you have a list of products list of products okay when user selects user selects few products few products among among multiple products okay among multiple products you have to copy that okay multiple products then you have to copy you have to copy only selected records selected products okay selected products into the cart screen okay is it clear or not my requirement is like this then you have to say one by one business rules what i have to use so first as a developer they are saying in this first screen you have a list of products right first as a developer how we will implement to get the list of records onto ui copy how we will implement for definition to get so the list here, i can use so in in the braces i am writing right you can use either reports or you can use obj browse method in the activity right obj browse method in the activity so what is the layout you can prefer to show it on ui first we you can, can prefer this is related to business logic okay but ui related one we can use table ui it's better for repeating the layout yes or no dynamic for the best appearance you can use uh, table layout also but for the best appearance you can use repeating dynamic layout why because to display the list of records there are some specific layouts are available either table layout or repeating dynamic layout or hierarchical layout or navigational tree likewise you have okay only those layouts only you you have to prefer so for my requirement i can use either table layout or repeating, repeating. when when you will get this idea to use which type of layout means when you have clear picture about your requirement and when you have the clear idea about every layout okay then only you can answer for your scenario so i can use either table layout or repeating dynamic layout why because source of table layout is what either page list or report definition Database. or data or what more these are the different sources of my uh, table layout same way repeating dynamic layout also you have report definition and data page and page list right so uh, you can use repeating one minute repeating dynamic why i am saying this only means you have to show the list of records so these are the layouts you can show next what is the next functionality you have to implement as a developer you have Uh, implemented business rule like report definition you got some records from the database you have given this report as a source to a either table layout or repeating dynamic layout okay so you you can able to see all the records then you have to provide another functionality right user can able to select the record then you have to provide checkbox or not 
Yes. So you have to add one checkbox control to your table layout or repeating yes. dynamic layout. Next. So okay, till now is it clear, everyone? Next. When user selects few products, that means here they are defining the condition. When user selects few products, that means where you have to call the another rule. Where you have to perform the action. When user selects, that means on click of select. That means on click of something, you have to perform the action. That means on click of true. That means on click of checkbox, you have to call the rule to perform another business logic. Okay, so that's what you have to add one checkbox. On click of that particular add button or on click of particular checkbox, you have to run the background another business logic rule. Then what is my next business logic rule? Data transfer. See, in the first screen you have selected, right? If you submit that one, where is data available? On the clipboard, yes or no? Suppose first screen list is products list. Last card screen list is selected products list. Whenever you submit the data from first screen, where the data is available? On the clipboard, products list page, okay, on that page list, you may have a list of product details, okay. Then how we will write the logic? We will be that means product, you have to call another data transform. You have to call one data transform rule. When products list to dot py selected equals to true, then only copy the data from product list to selected product list yes or no so automatically it will perform something otherwise no need you you don't have to perform anything so that's what you have to think in that way and you have to say the overall business rules for this requirement so now what are the rules we have used for this requirement to implement the above business requirement first you have to create a report definition rule Okay, you have to create def report definition rule to fetch the records, to fetch the records and we have to select one layout to provide the list of records onto UI and you have to add one control called checkbox. Then on click of that checkbox, we have to run the business logic. So for that requirement, I am using data transform. Why? Because I want to copy the data from one place to another place. So by using data transform, I can achieve that. So instead of the data transform, I can write on click of a button when PY selected equals to true, then copy the data from one page list. That is product page list to selected products page list. It's done. Yes or no? So if you understand the business requirement, then only you can answer for any type of scenario questions. Yeah, I have one question okay. there. Yes, yes. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so whenever we are using data transform, uh, so we have append and map to. So yes. do we need to use uh, append and map to in that case, right? Yeah, you can use that also, no problem. So if that is related to a list of records, imagine product list is one list. Selected product also another list. Why? Because you can able to select more than one product. So both are related to product list only, like list property only. So whenever the property type is list, then you can use append to and append and map to. But if that is referring with different classes, product list is one class, selected product list is another class, then you have to go with append to, like append to and append and map to. If that is referring with the same class, you can go with what? Append to. If that is referring with another one, append and map to. Okay. Likewise, based upon the requirement and based upon the situation, you have to use the different actions inside of the data transfer. Okay, next. Okay, till now it's clear, right? So in this way only our post-training classes will be. For every rule, let's say for example, what are the different rules we have? From the property itself, we have property, section, flow action, like flow action, Next, flow, <clears throat> what are next, activity, 
data transfer these, these all are related to ui like uh, implementing the ui screen right ui screen implementation next business logic related one activity data page reports decision next decision uh, rules next uh, what data page like we already written activity next data transfer um uh, next to declarative rules declarative rules so for every application we have to implement the validation also right so that's what we have validations next what more <coughs> validation so, so so up to this next you have to provide whatever the details you have collected this you have to provide in a email format suppose then you have to work with email integration right email integrations so whenever we work with the email integration you have to create the correspondence rules right like correspondence correspondence and fragment rules next whenever you work with the decision rules instead of that can we use circumstance rules yeah. circumstance rules also right next this is related to email integration next if you have a requirement to communicate with the third party applications integration. then we will work with the integration rest integration like service rest connect rest next service so and so, uh, like a connect so connect so Five and days. if you want to perform the background activities background Agents. like background Agents. process job queue processor then we can use sla rule sla also one background processing rule only SLA rule, we can use agents, yes. like we can use a queue processor, and we can use Job file, listeners. file listeners, file listeners, email listeners, right? Next, the basic and core important concept is case type. Yes. Okay, if you want to define the business logic transaction, you can use case type. Whenever we work with the case type, we have to work on locking mechanism, right? Locking mechanism. Next, parent and child case relation. It's very major and important concept, right? Parent and child case relation. Next, what more? Different smart shapes. Next, another important concept like parameters concept. Next, you have a DSS like a dynamic system settings. Dynamic and next, dynamic uh, like a dynamic class reference concept. Next, you have branching concept. Next, what we have? Uh, access related one. Access like, when access denied privilege related rules security rules like uh, like security rules are nothing but access related one only like access, access groups access role to object access training acbr What's like uh, base control role? like class next inheritance. yeah inheritance concepts those are very basic only right inheritance class and class mapping data type Next page concept, rule resolution. That means rule. under the rule resolution only, these all will come. Like rule availability, blocked, withdrawn, everything. Rule resolution. So I'll take every day, like um, I'll tell you the process of this post training and all. So these are the very important rules, right? Based upon the timings, every rule. Like suppose these four rules may, may take to cover two hours of time. 
so for every day we'll be having one hour of session right so it will take two days to cover likewise only activity it will take one class data page will take one class reports will take one class but how i'll explain means from the basic points to the advanced points of each rule so i think you have seen like if i take activity related example how do i just explain with you every business scenario i i'll take this business scenario and i'll try to explain the way of implementation i'll not uh, like uh, execute here itself i will tell you the way of implementations then you have to take the time for yourself and you have to implement the business requirements okay next here uh, we have another uh, questions cascading what cascading cascading that is one concept right yeah. that is related to parameters yeah. concept yeah. that already i have written right yeah. parameter yeah. concept yeah. next what is the purpose Can that means what is the questions of the standard topic sorry uh can we have question i mean interview question also after completing particular topic right if we discuss those questions one minute, one minute. i i'll i'll clear every of your doubts because time is already 11:05 right we'll connect on monday also okay on monday also you can ask any type of questions but now i want to give the full details of this post training okay so what is the purpose of this post training program i think now you got it right what is the purpose thinking of uh, so how student can able to think for a scenario in what uh, way okay so don't think how to answer for a question okay you have to think how to implement the business logic okay so if you have the clear idea how to implement the business logic then you can able to work on any type of scenarios okay if you understand the concept then only you can answer for any type of scenario questions next whenever you are trying to read anything try to imagine the situation okay everything you have to think with some uh, real time examples i am explaining here right the same thing you have to imagine with the real time business requirements so that's what this is the purpose of post training generally in the normal training period they used to explain everything but at that time at that point of time you are the new learner right so in, at that time you can't able to imagine everything there is actually no no time to imagine everything right to practice everything also there is no time so this is the right time to improve your skills okay so that's what we implemented this post training for the purpose the persons who already completed their like their pega training and the persons who already working on pega even though they are unable to work on some business requirements then they can polish their skills yes, sir. Yes, sir. right why because here they may work on different business user requirements on each and every rule so then they can easily uh, like uh, implement their skills individually only next what you will get from this post training program means this is what means how you have to think in a business rules implementation way and how to answer for a business requirement and how to answer for a scenario question okay so this is what about this post training program and what we will do in this entire post training program session means it is around it is around 45 days okay so like come to weeks week by set schedule in a week we'll be having three days of sessions three days of sessions that sessions are same like but that is i will take one by one concept either data page or uh, activity likewise i will take one by one concept i will explain in the same way okay with each and every concept i will take examples for every concept so three days of session those sessions will be on monday <clears throat> monday wednesday yeah monday wednesday and friday then you have another session on thursday like that is review session what is this review session means 
you will be work on a project right for this post training whatever the user stories you implemented that everything you have to work on like you have to explain in the thursday session that will be around one hour one hour of session but everything i will intimate you like what is the time you have to connect okay and what is the user story for a week you have to work on everything will be discussed so in a week we'll be having monday wednesday friday one hour of sessions the remaining rest of the time for entire week you have to implement the practical requirements only okay next <clears throat> what we will going to be work on for this 45 days means i will used to provide some projects okay those projects related to <clears throat> there are projects those are related to banking okay banking sector healthcare and service providing okay next leave management applications next arena projects okay likewise i have so many projects but among this any project the major and most important project is bank why because healthcare also but if you understand the banking projects you can able to work on any type of project so that's what the major motto and my main core point you have to work on the banking project first on time if you submit your work if you completed your project within very few few hours then i will try to pro like provide another project but without completing one project i will not provide any other project okay and come to this project this project and all i will tell you on the next class okay that class timings and everything my team will update you so <clears throat> that project around with let's say for example there are 10 user stories okay what you have to do means this 10 user stories i will provide with you at a time all these user stories will be with you at a time but you have to follow the series first if you are started with one if you complete one then you have to start two then only you have to start two if you are done with two start three otherwise if you do like one four six eight likewise it will not work out why the reason means everything is connected if you implement something in first user story the output of first user story will be related with the second user story the second user story output will be related with the third user story when you complete the third user story then any then only you can implement the fourth user story that means completely dependent on each other okay so that's what you have to follow the series order if you jump from one another it will not work out okay that everything i will tell you in the going forward classes so this is about the process and how many days it will take to complete this post training and what you can get from this post training everything i think i just explained you here and if you have if you have any further queries any further queries about this please contact our admin number okay 83283 93 93256 okay this is our admin number 83 one minute 83283 so you can contact them and you can ask them what is the procedure and how many days it will take that every details they will provide and everybody who are attended for this session today please try to do message to this number <clears throat> hi my name is so on so today i have attended for the post training demo session okay and please share with me the further details whatever you have okay so then they'll provide the full details about this post training program please note down this number 83283 93256 this is pega post training number okay 
so online till now we just completed with this post training program demo right so if you have any further uh, questions you can ask and this training will be mostly in the english only okay sometimes only i can able to talk telugu okay but most of the time i used to speak english only next hi ma'am is this class record yeah recorded session also available if you message to this number they will share the recorded session and once again you can go through with this recorded session then you can understand clearly okay next anybody if you uh, have any queries you can ask otherwise yeah. we'll wait for this session yeah uh, jhansi so you like uh, told us that there going to be a review session so can you just Sorry? let me uh, uh, you to uh you told that there will be like three classes where you going to explain and yes, one yes. class for review session right yeah yeah so yeah so can you just let me know the detail about that review session is that that you are going to give us some user story we're no, going so to make it out another, another thing also i want to share with you like you mm -hmm. have to work on the project right in that project i will not help you okay why the reason means if i do help for every time you will not use your brain okay whenever you are struggling to solve some situation then only do the whatsapp message to me, to me to my personal number then only i'll give the response okay otherwise you can communicate through our whatsapp group also but don't try to get the solutions always okay try to uh, work hard from your end also so you will implement some user stories right like let's say for example you implemented one user story in a week by you by your own okay then on the thursday session what you have to do means let's say the timing will be 10 am to 11 am okay or 10:30 to 11:30 or 11 to 12 based upon the number of joined students for batch let's say for example if there are 30 members at a time 30 members review is not possible to take right so i'll divide them into different teams like team a team b team c that first 10 people they can join on the interval whatever i provided second people they are also same third people also same timings are different then what exactly we will do in that review session means whatever the whatever the work you did in this entire week related to different user stories you have to connect through go to meeting or zoom and you have to share your screen and you have to explain whatever you did okay and randomly i used to ask the questions why like you have taken this rule only why can't you develop with another rule and why the reason you just included this conditions here these every uh, things you have to explain in that review session why because if you habited this one then only you can attend for any type of stand up calls or any type of sprint calls any type so that's what this is the main motto of that review sessions is it clear yes yes uh... yeah one more thing is there going to be any uh, mock interview sessions mock interview means see this is around 45 days right in a week we'll be having 3 3 hours so then 3 uh, hours plus 3 hours means for 2 weeks will be complete overall 6 hours right so you can take this 6 hours of concepts and after 2 weeks you can schedule your mock interview with our team we have a team of members right then you can uh, give your mock interview to our team no problem then take your mock interview okay and next uh, and Jansi, is this training this is 45 new pega is it sorry yeah, i think this yes, is 45 yes. working days right 45 working days means that's what i'm saying around this will take 20 to 30 hours of time to cover every concepts if it is covered within that also it's fine okay you don't uh, calculate the days okay first of all don't calculate the days first try to uh, implement your like uh, improve your skills okay 
that everything covering and everything i will take care of that but what you have to do from your side means you have to improve improve your practical skills as well as you have to complete your project on time okay whenever okay. like in next class in the next class that class uh, when will be the next class our team will update you if on that day i will explain about entire project right project description from that next day itself you have to start work on your project and i will provide the deadline for that project around 30 days or 20 days or uh, 40 days within that time period you have to complete your user stories and you have to complete your project even though within that also if you complete your project i will try to provide another project also but everybody you should have to attend for the review session and you have to project your skills there okay next is this training for new pega new to pega and how it is useful no this is not for the new pega persons okay i already told you who already having some knowledge about pega then only you can able to work on here because i will not teach you like from basic scratch to everything here this will be like revising sessions okay next come to project i will not explain anything only i will provide the abstract for the project that means the overall description about the project only i will provide that in entire user stories you have to work on by yourself only whenever you get any types any type of doubts then only i can able to help but only that hints only i can provide okay next is this training covered in this regular harsha batch is this training actually harsha will cover every concept okay at that time harsha will take one project and he will explain the practical things right but here what will be happen means we will not explain any practical implementation you have to work on by yourself so that is the difference between that and this one and here this session overall motto is uh, in the point of interview only okay how the interviewer will be ask the questions and how you have to respond for the questions and how you have to think in a way to crack the interview this is the overall motto of this post training but the difference between the normal training and this is in the normal training they'll explain about the overall concept of the rule okay and they'll explain the interview questions also but at that time you are very new for the technology right but you can't get everything in the training session right so after days going on then only you will get the clear picture right see imagine you are the student but now you are the student when you have started your career from zero class nursery lkg ukg first second likewise only right at nursery you don't know anything like at least you don't know a b c also so but if you are at first class you know a b c and some rings at your 10th class you know some concepts some things we know if you come to some graduation you know some technologies like c c plus java everything after that now you are trying to learn something which is not related to you actually that is also similar to learning from abc to the uh, advanced level so that's what that is like normal training that is related to learning everything from abc okay abc to advanced level here it is a for apple like directly we will teach about apple okay that means we will not train about a for a is after a we will get b after b we, we have to get c likewise here we will not teach anything okay everything already they will train in your basic training if suppose in the for this demo session the persons who don't have knowledge on pega if you join try to uh, enquire about the normal training and batch also uh, already started okay just demo completed if you want to go through with that regular session you can join for that and once if you complete your regular session within 45 days if you give your mock interview and if you are better best at your uh, like your skill then it is free of cost okay 
then you can utilize this one also okay is this clear everyone sorry actually i have to wind up this session at 11 o'clock but i want to deliver entire concept about this post training so that's what it just uh, like increase the timing like 11 30 so anything anyhow uh, we'll wind up this session and we'll meet on next class my team will update you that when will be the next class so please contact to this number 8328393256 please do whatsapp message then only they they can able to share the recorded session with you okay yeah thank you everyone we'll wind up this session and we'll meet on next class hello ah sorry sorry okay okay malli call John, say one last okay. question. At what time we can have this daily? Sorry? So what about daily timing, John? Timings, okay. So yeah. uh, timings you are asking, right? Actually, one batch is going on. Though that timings for that batch is 10 30 to 11 30 a.m. I esteem. So okay. mostly we will plan according to that, like 9 30 to 10 30. Next batch, like your batch. Otherwise, after 11 30. 11.30 to 12.30, I used to take your batch also. Yeah, the but okay, is, because it is difficult, uh, John, say after 10.30. If it is before 10.30, if we are closing, it would be helpful. Actually. So why, when will be the flexible timing for everyone? Well, uh, for me, it's going to be like uh, after uh, 10 or 11. After 10, it will be flexible for everyone or what? And yes. okay, do yes. one thing. After 10, it will be flexible. Yeah, so do one thing and please include your flexible time also. Then according to that, according to the poll, then we will plan according to that uh, polling, we will plan the sessions. And what time uh, we have to schedule. So and when, John, see, when is going to be uh, okay. is going to be started? It's from like, everybody, start from Monday so onwards? You have to give your mock interview. Okay, everybody, you have to note this point. You have to give the mock interview. So, oh, so what that is mock interviews will be interview. one minute. Mock interviews timings and date will be starts from uh, mostly from Monday. Okay, so try to complete your mock interview before the actual session starts. Okay, mostly the actual sessions will be starts from Thursday. What one minute? What is the date? Next Thursday, eleventh, right? So. On 11th, we may have Ramzan, right? So, mostly we will start our sessions from 12th. Mostly. The timings and dates, everything, my team will update you back. But before this Thursday, try to complete your mock interviews. That means try to schedule schedule your mock interview on 8th and 9th Ugadi or what? 9th Ugadi, right? 8th and 10th. So, try to schedule your interviews on these two days. Okay, so my team will share with that Excel file. So uh, yes. we are getting mock interview links every day, right? So that is the same thing for post training uh, interview also, right? So like post training mock interview means here we will test you a skill like whether you for, for this post training you have to eligible when means if you have the information about the integration part and when you have some practical thinking. Okay, so I just explained you, right, how you have to think and how you have to answer for the scenarios. So try to improve your skill in this way. You have two days of time, right, Saturday and Sunday. Try to prepare in this way. And most of the roles they may ask, like activity, report definition, data page, uh, integration concept. What is integration? What is service test? What is connect rest? And... Uh, uh, like how we will establish the connections between service rest and connect rest. What is the property? What is section? Flow? Flow action? Likewise, they will test your communication skill as well as normal uh, practical skill also. They will test you. Okay. Nice. So why we are not taking the people who are not giving the interview means if I take the people, they can't able to work on the project, then I have to face the struggles. So I don't want to continue with that. So that's what you should have to give the mock interview. But at least give a trial. Okay. Then you can able to test your skill where you are. Then at least for the next batch also, 
you can improve right so uh, start working on the things okay yeah uh jancy okay. uh, when will the message yeah so that's what i'm saying please do whatsapp message to our team they'll update you with the next class and uh, what are the timings everything they'll get they'll get back to you okay no worries but mostly the next regular batches will be starts from friday onwards okay before that try to complete every processes like giving the mock interviews and that fee details and everything okay yeah thank you everyone